My dear real estate brothers and sisters, let's keep it real estate. The agents who are killing the real estate game right now and are slinging deals left, right, and center are not only the agents who are leveraging video, social media, AI, open houses, events, but they also have an email list. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful email newsletter with Flowdesk. So how do we build our email list? Easy, opt-in forms. And Flodes has many forms that you can choose from. But first, you need to pick the context of the form. Now, I categorize this into two different buckets. The first kind of form is the direct form where you are literally asking the person to please sign up for my email newsletter. The second one is an exchange of value in return for that person's email. So this is your lead magnets. So things like giving away a free buyer's guide, a free seller's guide, and a relocation guide. To locate where the forms are in Flodes, you just want to go over to forms here and hit new form. Now this is where you're able to create the different types of forms. Now for me personally, I tend to use either the full page form, so something that looks like this. And more recently, I've been using the video form that looks like this. And this one's nice if you are on YouTube, you can put the hyperlink of your video here and it will be a playable video on the actual form. Now another form that you may be interested in using is the link in bio form, which is I would say relatively new as of last year. Now, if I were to customize this and add a particular segment, for example, this one, um, essentially what this is, is a link in bio page. So if you're familiar with what Linktree looks like or a multiple link in one, this is basically a landing page of all of your resources. Now, the nice thing about this particular form is that you just very well ask for the person's name and email and they can just join your list and that way you can build up your email list in the back end. Now I do have several tutorials on creating these forms so more recently I have done this video here which is going to be on that video form and my first video that I did on Flowdesk is going to be the full page form. Now these two videos are in regards to creating lead magnets so I show you in those videos how to give away a free buyer or seller's guide so I will be sure to link this playlist in the description box down below so be sure to check it out. Now let's head back into Flodes here so I can show you an example of a form that I have. So right now, to give you an idea, while you do have to create a form, you actually have to, I would say, link it to a workflow. So I know that's kind of some Flodes jargon, but it will make sense in a second here. So this particular form here, if I open this up in, let's see here, let me grab this and put it over here. You can see this is what the form looks like and if you want to sign up for it, you can scan this code here or find a link in the description box down below. But as you can see here, what I'm doing is in exchange for your email, I'm giving you a 20% off discount for Etsy. Now this form here needs to be attached to a workflow because in order for, you, for me to give you this discount code, I need to have an automated email trigger to go out. So this form here, so this form here is going to be connected to one of my workflows, which is going to be down here. And so this is just the sequence of events. So essentially what I'm saying to Flowdesk is this. So if I have somebody fill out this form, then please trigger off this specific email here so that the person who's opting into this form will get the discount code. And in doing so, I'm building up my email list in the background. And so when I do have my bi-weekly newsletters go out, then I'm able to send my videos essentially to the email list of people that I'm building up in the background. So I hope that makes sense. Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I sell Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. Scan this code here to shop or scan this code right over here to learn how you can get all of my templates for free. As always, links are in the description box down below. Subscribe for the good code vibes and let's get back to the video. Once we have our opt-in forms set up and running in the background and collecting them emails, we can start to send out newsletters 
to actual people. Now you first want to choose your cadence. I recommend starting out with monthly and once you get comfortable with Flodes and your audience is loving it and you feel like you want to and are able to take on more, you can bump it up to bi-weekly or even weekly. So let's head into Flodes where I'm going to show you how you can create your own email newsletter template so you can easily plug and play your content and send it out. To begin creating emails on Flodes, you want to first go to emails up here on the main page and then I would first create a designated folder that way you can keep yourself organized so go ahead and hit new folder and name this accordingly i'm just going to name this as newsletter so when you come into flowdesk whether that be weekly bi-weekly or monthly you want to come into this folder and create your emails from here so again that way you can stay organized so go ahead and hit new email. Now from here, you can start with the many templates that Flodes has to offer. So you can take one of these and edit it and customize it to how you like it and create a template from that. Or you can use my template, which I have here, which is a real estate email newsletter template that I am currently selling on Etsy. So give it a looky-loo. I will also be sure to link it in the description box down below. But here we have the opening remarks for that specific month. We have a business spotlight. We have local happenings. So this is events that are happening in your community a market snapshot, a highlight for your recent real estate listing, and then a YouTube video embed if you are on YouTube, and finally, just your agent sign off. So if you purchase this from Etsy, you will get a link that looks like this. And from here, this is just a one click install template. So all you have to do is obviously first be sure that you are using Flodes. You can use my code here to make sure that you get 50% off Flodes your first year. So scan that code or find the link in the description box down below. From here, all you have to do is hit start designing now, and this will make a copy of my template into your Flodesk workspace. Now from here, what I recommend is to make sure you edit this so that it is relevant to you and then create a template out of my template. So let me walk you through this. Essentially on the editing email window within Flores, when I hover my mouse over all of these different elements, these are known as blocks. So this is a text block. This is a layout and image block, and this is just an image block. And then if you notice, if you see these plus buttons, you can click on it and click on it again and this will give you a, a basically a menu of the blocks that you can make up an email right now first things first what i recommend is to change up the colors if you'd like so in this case once i hit the background you can see here i have backdrop color and canvas color so you can hit backdrop color and change just the backdrop of the email which will only be visible when you are in the desktop view versus if you are seeing the email in the mobile view you will just see the white feed now you can make this inverted where you can have a white background and then a different color for the feed itself so totally up to you you can use the dropper tool here or put in your actual hex code color for your brand definitely up to you but typically i like to keep it white and then for fun i just put the background color just to make it look nice all right next thing is i would put an image of either yourself or your logo or for me i like to use what's called a profile logo gift so let me go ahead and find that Alrighty, I found it. So this is what I call a logo profile GIF. So if you have multiple logos and multiple entities that you represent, you can create a GIF of all of your logos. So I have a tutorial on my channel where I show you how to do that. So I'll be sure to link it in the cards above and in the description box down below. Or you can choose just to use a plain static image of yourself, just like this. But I think it's really nice and snazzy if you use the GIF, just in my opinion. So I'm just going to use the GIF here. And to give you the quick rundown of this particular template, to use this, you just click the um, image here and then you can just upload image or use one from Unsplash. But we'll get to that in a second because what I first want to do is create a template of my template. So from here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And now you want to make sure you 
edit this portion here. So this is another image. So in this case, I would just use a static image. And this is a circle cropped profile picture I made on Canva. So I'm going to insert that there. Obviously, please change out the signature. So this is just a, a fancy text on Flowdesk. And then put in your um, real estate information, your contact information. And here we have what's called the link bar. And so basically you want to click on this particular invisible box and you want to put the link. So in this case, you can put your website or link tree for the sake of this. And then all listings, you can put again, your real estate website. If you're with EXP, your KB Core website, and then down here for the connect one, this is up to you. If you are using, let's say Calendly. So let me find my Calendly link really quickly here. So I'm just going to copy this and then you would just paste that into here. And then down here we have your social blocks. So essentially if you hit this here and hit the links here and then manage linked accounts, you can add your profiles um, that are relevant to you. So currently I just have my Instagram and my YouTube, Etsy and my website. So it's really easy. You click on the icon, you put the link in and you hit save really easy. So once you have uh, customize this to you. Once you're done doing that, make sure you keep everything kind of blank because we're creating a template out of this template. So once this is done, we are now going to hit this heart icon, save to favorites. So we are going to save this as a favorite. So I'm going to name this newsletter template, and I'm just going to give this uh, asterisk. So I know that this is the template that we just created. Go ahead and hit save. So once you have made a template out of my template, I'm going to show you how to send out your newsletter. So now let's head back to just the main homepage of Flowdesk. And again, let's let's simulate as if you were sending out a newsletter to your audience. So once again, we've made our folder on Flowdesk. Open up newsletter, that folder, hit new email. And from here, we're going to navigate to my favorites. So go ahead and click that. Now, this is the email template we just customized together. So from here, you would just hit view details and then we are going to hit customize it. So now you are going to plug and play the information that is relevant to this month or this week. Now, very simply, again, if we hover our mouse over the block, let's hit this image block. Now we can upload an image or you can add an image from Unsplash. So let me find a nice image here. And all you have to do is just hit select and boom, you have an image. Now you can play around with the effect here, the opacity. So I have it toned it down just so we can see that white text there. So I'm just, I'm going to leave it as it is. And then obviously you want to change out your opening remarks and uh, don't forget to put your sign off there. Forgot to do, to do that before. Uh, now this again is where you can put in the image of that business owner or just that business. And then you can link this here, follow them to their specific profile, their Instagram, their website, their Facebook, whatever have you. And then if you scroll down here, this again is layouts as well. So same thing, you want to put your image, change out the text, hyperlink this button. And then down here, this is where you want to put your real estate snapshot. So if you purchase this template from me, I also give you a Canva template, which is of this market snapshot. So you would come in here and change out the information relevant to your market. And if you want to change the image in the background, all you have to do is click and drag an image you have uploaded into Canva or just find one from their stock section and just click and drag and paste it into the background. And once you are happy with that, I do believe I have the transparency turned down again so that we can see the relevant information there. Once you're done, you just want to go ahead and hit share. And we want to download this as a PNG. So an image file, All right? I'm going to hit download and make sure that it is downloaded onto my other screen here and uh, we are good to go. Now let's head back into the email template here. Click on the image block, upload image, and let's go into downloads and just open it up and boom bang, you have a market snapshot. Doesn't that look nice? Looks real nice. 
And down here, this is your listing highlight. So again, click on the image block, upload your image, change out the stats here. And now for this button here, there are several things that you can do. You can link it to your real estate listing website or if you have a property website that is designated for this listing as an example here is a property listing website template that i also sell on etsy so make sure you give it a looky loo as well this is just a single page canva website and i would then take the url of this page i know you can't see it up here but i'm taking the url going back into here hitting the button here and going to link and I'm just going to paste the link in just like that and then from here if you are on YouTube all you have to do quite simply is just hit the block there find your video that you want to highlight just grab the URL go back into Flowdesk and just paste in the video and the thumbnail is also copied over which is really nice as well obviously you want to uh, change out the closing remarks if you feel like you need to and that is pretty much it now before you send this out to your actual email list what i would do is send out a test email to yourself so you want to hit this send test email that way you can see what this email looks like from the front end and make sure you check all of the links so that they go to the right places and once everything is good and ready to go you can hit next up in the upper right corner so that we can schedule this email out so from here just hit continue obviously you want to change out the subject line so get a little creative with that i'm going to hit continue here now this is where you are going to add your segment typically because this is a newsletter i send it out to everybody on my list you can also exclude certain segments if you would like but i'm just going to hit save for now and then i'm going to hit continue and from here you can send it out now or what i would suggest is to schedule it out by hitting later so typically i would send out a newsletter with events probably either on like a wednesday or a tuesday because you want to give people enough time to know that these events that most likely are happening on the weekend let them know that they are happening in advance but because i'm filming this video on a thursday we're just going to pretend that uh we're gonna send it out next week so i'm gonna hit wednesday let's do tuesday we'll do march 11th and you can hit the time you can choose a custom time best time for morning best time for afternoon best time for evening we can do let's see here we'll do custom time oops five i, don't, I want a five p.m i guess i will have to scroll all the way down to the bottom yeah 5 p.m and just hit save and all you have to do from here is just hit schedule and it will be scheduled to be sent out on that specific day and on that time and that is it for today's tutorial if you made it to the very end of this video then you know what it is you know what to do yeah comment down below and crew so i know you are a real one because only the real ones make it to the end of the video and if you want to learn more about flores and how to create effective lead magnets then check out this video right over here and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one